Hello everybody, my name is Star Raptor. I'm so glad you could join me for my spoiler-free review for Luke Cage Season 2, where Season 1 was the sort of origin story for Luke Cage. Season 2 is definitely what every follow-up season for TV should do, and that is to put stress on the character and put him in a new direction. So looking at this season at a glance, we have Luke Cage, who is strong with his abilities, he's comfortable with them, and he is still doing the good fight in Harlem. There's lots of gang violence that is pretty much... Uh, orchestrated by Black Mariah and her gang, but then we also have newcomers that are called the Stylers that are led by this fierce warrior from Jamaica named Bushwhacker. So let's get into the positives, things I enjoyed about this season. First off was how much it connects to the other MCU Marvel Netflix shows. I mean, we have connections to Daredevil, we have connections to Iron Fist, as well as Jessica Jones, and there's lots of ramifications coming off of the Defenders for not only Luke Cage, but for other characters such as Misty Knight herself. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I was really bummed out from Season 2 of Jessica Jones, which didn't really have any references, but this is chock full of them, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, talking about Luke Cage as a character in general, I really liked how they really just force him in these new situations where, you know, it's kind of new to him, but not new to us, whereas he's relatable. I mean, he's having problems with a relationship with Claire Temple. He's also having problems with finding the places where to live, as well as how to make money. So just, again, very relatable as to us, but he is yet a bulletproof character. He is a superhero that is having real life problems, basically. Uh, as always, the music is great in Luke Cage. In this season, I think they even stepped it up higher. They have reggae, they have hip hop, they have a lot of reggae. So lots of fun there, and even the cultural uh, way they go about this season is great. We have, uh, as I mentioned, there's a Jamaican character, so there's a lot more of that kind of culture that is kind of sprinkled into the season, as well as what you would expect from Luke Cage. So lots of great stuff there. I also did like seeing the family ties. There's lots of connections to these characters that are familial, and they just make it that more interesting when you're seeing characters kind of go against each other, even though they are family. So Lots of stakes. The stakes are very high in this one. And everything just subverts uh, expectations. Like, you think there's something that is going to happen and something completely different happens. Basically, lots of surprises, lots of suspense. I was always on the edge of my seat. There's great cliffhangers in this season. So every episode ends and you're going to want to watch the next one, especially because it's Netflix right away. So there were lots of moments where I wanted to watch it, but I had to go do something else. So it's always great for me to kind of get that feeling from a TV show for sure. And the relationships, again, were just, you know, not only between the family members, but just all over characters that you would never seen connecting connect in ways for them to survive and other reasons so getting into my cons i will say something that held luke cage back was more or less a centralized kind of conflict for luke cage yes he was fighting off the cartels and the gags in harlem but it didn't seem like there was a direct uh thing he needed to accomplish from episode one all the way through episode 13. I will say also that it did seem a little bit too long at points, especially the episodes themselves were about an hour long each, so I feel like every Netflix season coming out just gets longer for each episode. I think they could have cut them down, made it to like 45 minutes or something, or just have less episodes to make it more concise. And there were lots of things that were a little bit too convenient for my taste that just kind of happened, and it was like, wow, this happened now because this person's in this location, and so is this person. So I would have liked to see things come together a little bit more complex than that. With that being said, I'm going to give Luke Cage Season 2 a score of a 7.5 out of 10. I like Season 1 just a little bit better, but there is still so much to enjoy for Season 2, and I cannot wait, and I hope that there's an announcement for Season 3 of Luke Cage, because it definitely leaves off the character of Luke Cage in a very interesting position. So what did you think of Luke Cage Season 2? Let me know in that comment section below. Also, if you like this video, I have plenty of other content that revolves around comic books, Star Wars, and much more. So you're going to want to make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you never miss another video. My name is Star Raptor. 
Thank you for watching and bye bye Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.